Hey guys, welcome back to Pharaoh Iron and Customs. Uh, to this, uh, the second installment of the February Daily Vlog. Um, today, I'm going to start working on this uh, section of the hood that's rusted out. Um, I'm going to try to get most of it in one video. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little intimidated by it. Uh, I'm not a body man by trade, never have been. And uh, if you look at it, there is a crown this way and a crown this way. So it's going to be kind of a challenging piece of metal to put in there. Um, now, normally, or what you'd think to do is, I mean, I may get away with keeping the center of it. But you can see this rust, this thin, gets all the way up into here. So that's a pretty big section that's going to have to be taken out of both sides. And then it's got a lip on the bottom that rolls this way and then rolls this way. So uh, anyway, I'm going to start by pulling this uh, um, medallion out. I mean, it's, you know, seen better days anyway. I'm going to get my uh, welding blanket to cover the the grill up I want to keep the grill in there so I can kind of you know gauge what my lines look like uh, but I do not want to get any welding picks hmm, already a blister in that that that's quite upsetting anyway uh, so um, that that grill is not uh, it's not an inexpensive piece of chrome these days so anyway let me get started and I'll get come back to you in a little bit all right guys, I got it sanded down. Um, evidently I'm out of DA paper and I just used 36 grit on my little five and a half inch orbit, uh, random orbit sander later. Um, and it, you know, didn't do the best job in the world, but it knocked, knocked it down to the bare metal. Now, um, I think I can go from here back. I don't, I was thinking about replacing all of it but I think I'm gonna leave this in here, this uh, center center part. Um, it's got this little blister in there and all these holes that are for the, uh, um, for the hood, the emblem, the Ford emblem. And so I'm gonna cut some steel out and start thinking about how I'm gonna shape this. Uh, this is completely broke loose on this side, so I don't really have a whole lot to go on as far as shape goes. So I'll shape that side first. Um, I was thinking I was gonna be able to break it, but uh, that is not, it's actually, got a, it's actually got a curve to it. So it's gonna have to be made in uh, a couple of pieces. So let me get this, uh, let me get this cut out and uh, start figuring on how I'm gonna shape some metal. All right guys, this is where I am uh, so far. I've got this piece cut out. Um, and when we do the cutting butt, this will straighten up. It's not really gonna matter anyway. Um, something you need to keep in mind is when you go up, you're going to, um, you're going to go up and you're gonna go up. You got to go up the thickness of the metal to get the metal to uh, um, the get both of these edges. Now, what I'm going to do right now is weld these two pieces together, and I'm going to get over on the ta over on the table and uh, weld it solid and grind it and ready to go in place. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to the next thing I do after I get this fixed is I'm going to take the hood off. The inside has to be repaired, so. I'm going to weld this piece of metal in across here when I do the inside and it's upside down on the bench. So let me get this welded up and I'll come back. All right, got it on the bench. I'm welding it up. I got the back side welded up. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of grinding. Going to grind it just a little bit to get the slag off of it. Um, what I'm doing is going in weld in an in about every inch and come back and start over. I got my air right there. Now, whenever it gets to the point where it's a little warm, 
We cool it down. You're not trying to stack no dimes. Ain't trying to stack no nickels here. Um, all you're trying to do is fuse the metal together. Um, you're gonna grind most of it down anyway. So, ain't no need of trying to make it pretty. The metal can't stand the heat. It's so thin it can't take it. It'll warp. Anyway, so let me. I'm gonna get this welded up and I'll come back. All right, guys, you can see that I'm about a half a hole high. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, of, from where I had the screws holding the filler panel in. Um, and I've come back and I've tacked it into place so it doesn't move. And I'm about to do the cutting butt. I had to go ahead and cut that corner down so that I could get the panel in there. And uh, I'm going to tack this in place and go ahead and do the cut and butt. And what, what basically what you'll do is you'll come in and, and start tacking. And when I get to the point up here, I'll take and cut on a 45 uh, where the metal meets, a 45 degree angle, so that the top piece will lay into the bottom piece and you can just come start tacking it into place all the way down. I'll come back whenever I get that done. All right, guys, I got it welded in. Uh, I'm gonna grind it down and, and come back. Uh, I think it's pretty good. It's got a, a spot over here. I knew that it was probably gonna have to have a little bit of dolly work, but it's gonna have to have some filler to get this perfect um, anyway. But uh, let me grind this up and I'll come back. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, my uh, grinder is, uh, well, I'm out of grinding paper. I, since I've cleaned up the shop, I can't find nothing. So, <laughs> so um, I'm going to stop and get some more uh, cutoff wheels and some more uh, grind uh, uh, grinder discs to grind these wheels. Um, the next video probably be working on the other side it'll be more of the same uh i have a little bit of a high spot right through here i think um it feels pretty good it's hard to tell with the weld still in there so once i get it ground down flush it may feel a lot better than what it does now um i ain't dissatisfied with it by any means uh that's a whole lot better than i could have done 20 years ago so like i said um, I'm not a welder. I mean, I'm not a, well, I'm not a welder by trade, but I'm not a body man by trade either by any means, any stretch of the imagination. Um, we're just out here fixing our car, having fun. And, uh, like I said, like, and subscribe and, uh, leave a comment down below. If you got any tips, let me know. Um, I want to get this old girl on the road and, uh, and get her running good. So anyway, I'll uh, see you tomorrow.